Jesus, who just leaves a fedora in the fridge? Get ready. Welcome to Gaming News Sunday, or as I call it, the Fridge News 2.0. We're gonna go right down the list, bang, 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 because uh, I got it ready. Here we go. First off, we've got Eve working with a uh, with Excel, and uh, the spreadsheet game has now become more spreadsheets in game. Um, basically, it's gonna allow you to export all of your like data out of Eve into Excel, and then figure out how to do your space laundering easier, I guess. Eve is one of those games where, like, at the high end, it's literally just people staring at programs that pull the spreadsheets out anyway. So, like, this is just bypassing the weird, like, aftermarket stuff that people have to... But, uh, you can tell by the crowd reaction, this guy here is very excited. The Square Enix, uh, sold off, or is in the process of attempting to sell off all of its Western IP, um, which includes Tomb Raider, Deus Ex, Thief, and Legacy of Cain. Um, but they're keeping Just Cause, Outriders, and Life is Strange. Which I'm surprised is... I guess Outriders is a new IP, but I can't believe that they actually are keeping that of all the things I could have kept. Selling off, like, Tomb Raider and Deus Ex seems like such a weird thing to do. I mean, Tomb Raider has been making them enough money to not worry about it probably at this point, but, like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> It's gonna be weird, especially with Deus Ex being full of like random little Square Enix references and like um, uh, Human Revolution. It's just kind of like, okay, I guess we'll just ignore all of that. And like, they haven't done Thief or anything in a long time, so you know, we'll just have to work with that. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes, I guess. So, Bobby Kotick is being sued again, uh, this time around. Basically, uh, Blizzard stocks are being used for the New York City's employees' retirement system, and they invest the bunny in that, essentially like a 401k kind of deal, but it's for pensions. And because of the dump that Blizzard stocks have taken, um, it dumped the New York City employees' retirement system pension fund on behalf of them investing explicitly into Blizzard, which is just... I don't, I don't know how, well, not Blizzard, but Activision Blizzard, but it's just, like, I don't understand how you can hedge all of your everything on one thing like that. That's just such a weird financial, like, thing to me. But they did? I, I don't get it. Um, so they're suing him because the dump is basically throwing their pension in the trash as a weird byproduct of it. Final Fantasy 16 is, uh, according to Yoshi P, it's getting close to getting its trailer, so we'll see something like that. That isn't a picture of Shiva. That's, I guess, all we got. I don't remember anything else there in there. Summer Game Fest, which is uh, Jeff Keighley's replacement for E3, starts on June 9th at 11 Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and 6 p.m. GMT. It actually kind of puts it in a good time for all the locales. However, on a Thursday, everyone will be at work, so work networks will be overwhelmed. Um, it's probably just going to be a lot of world review, uh, sorry, world premieres. And, um, not a lot of probably, like, any kind of tech stuff. Which, um, PS5 is supposedly getting its own VR system soon and all kinds of stuff like that, so. The, uh, Video Game Hall of Fame is, um, inducting Ms. Pac-Man, Dance Dance Revolution, uh, Legend of Zelda, and Civilization. That's kind of neat. Um, the Museum of Play is in Rochester, so it's kind of not near anywhere that you actually ever would get to. Like, you get to take a train there, and it's not on the main sprawl, but it's neat. I'm sure they'll have some kind of big opening for these, where they'll have, like, a walkthrough, and you can go and see, like, all kinds of memorabilia for each of the games. The DDR one's probably going to be full of cabinets and ridiculous. The Civilization one's going to have people who are just, like, one more turning on the computers for the length of the entire um, induction period, and then, like, next year, they'll just, like, kick all those people out, and they'll be, like, a withdrawal. Uh, Stanley Parable is getting a VR mod. That'll be kind of wonky, because it's already almost basically VR. It's just, um... Now you'll be able to pick up the bucket, uh, with your own hands. 
Citizen Sleeper came out. It's uh, sitting on an 84 average. In fact, actually, let's check for the update on it. It's sitting on an 83 average. Which, um... The game is like a uh, top-down like RPG kind of deal. With a lot of like visual novel text. Seems really neat. Be something to kind of pick up. And as an 84 or an 83, um, sounds like it's a pretty solid thing. It is on Xbox Game Pass, so it's gonna be easy to pick up there. Right out as its a uh, release trailer for Red Out 2, coming out on May 26, 2022. For the trailer, um, I mean, honestly, this just looks like Red Out with better graphics and better music, which I'm okay with. Um, I don't know what they're adding that is changing over Red Out 1, which was just, yeah, you know, maybe longer maps or something. Hopefully it keeps the like player retention a little bit longer than Red Out 1 one. Red Out 1 had an issue with the uh, having much in the way of like replayability outside of just playing a racing game repeated. Path of Exile is getting um, an expansion, another one. This uh, looks like a lot of Path of Exile to me. Oh, okay, you get turrets. Okay, that's kind of neat. Like Path of Tower Defense. Oh, and you get more confusing building um, trees so you can get lost like Path of Exile did to pretty much everybody who joins. So it's not an expansion, I guess. It's actually just like a turret. I don't know. You thought, I guess it is a turret expansion. Sonic 3 um, is coming into... is being included with the um, Sonic Origins because it's a pack of all the games. And uh, supposedly it's going to lose a bunch of music that was Michael Jackson built and inspired and frankly used later on. So launch base is gonna stay like it's weird because you could read this and they say all oh, launch base and ice cap are based on Michael Jackson songs like Jam and Hard Times. However, it's one of those things where it's been out long enough and they're that while they match, it's no different from any other video game using video game music or using real music in their stuff. So like, it's just weird. It seems like Sega's like pulled out too many stops to pull Michael Jackson there and then just like got screwed up with it. Um, the sub boss theme is going to get replaced by the one from Sonic and Knuckles for the whole game. And then they built their own theme for, for Knuckles theme, which had the like, come on. It's just like, that's gone entirely. It's been replaced by with a new thing. It's gonna be weird. I don't, they're just like kind of shoehorning it into the game. It feels like. I don't know. I'm just gonna plug the cartridge in and keep playing this same one I've been playing since I was a kid, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Thanks for watching Sunday Gaming News, also known as the Fridge Gaming News 2.0. I'm sure these will get better as time goes on. If you want to watch these live, you can always watch them over at my Twitch on Sundays at twitch.tv slash 6507. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay cool with the Fridge.